Buru, Iboya, Ibuche, it's everybody in Cyberland. It's your fair Baba Lao, at least I hope so. Omoto, Odileke, coming at you from the airport. As I get it in, I sat here and I got a question from an unusual initiate. Uh, well, a new practitioner. He hasn't initiated yet, but he has a great question. He said, hey, what's uh, what's going on with these three words? Iburu, Iboya, Ibucheche. And I said, you know what? I made a video on this long ago, but maybe it's time to refresh that a little bit, right? And let's talk about it a little, just a little bit. So I wanted to go over the pataki. So this video will be on the pataki. And this pataki comes from us, from the Odo Ifa of Obunda Meiji. And in this pataki, we begin to understand why we say Iburu Iboya Ibucheche. So in this pataki, this is when Olofi, due to many disagreements in his kingdom, arrested all the Babalaos, except for one, Orumila, who was in a distant corner of the kingdom. He was summoned before going, Orumila, like every great Babalao, does also day. He consults himself. He sees where he sits in the universe today. And when he did that, he came out with the Odun Ifa of Ogunda Meiji. And in Ogunda Meiji, it tells him to feed his head. Right? Perform the, the rogation of a head cleanse. And to do three abosses with chicken, with different ingredients, so that he can take it on his journey. But that the chickens had to be cooked and carried and left along the routes and he will know when to give it when it was desired. So, Orumila went on his way, completed everything he needed to do. And he sat under a tree and saw a woman washing clothes by the river. He started to have a conversation with the woman and she warned him. And speaking metaphorically, he told her about the banana tree giving birth is not possible. So indicating that there were many traps along the way. So Arumila gave the woman a chicken and gave her a derecho for the great advice. Asking for her name and her name was replied, Iburu. And then as he continued on his journey, he met with another woman that was cutting wood. So one woman was washing clothes at a river, another woman was now cutting wood. And she warned him that many people were being arrested and to be careful. So Arumila said, thank you for the sound advice, gave her a chicken and a derecho as well, an offering. And he asked, what is your name? And she said, Iboya. So now Arumila thanked her and moved on his way. Further, he went and he met with another woman who mentioned that Olofin wanted to marry off his daughter. And Orumila said, well, thank you for that advice. And gave her the third ebo, which was the cooked chicken. And a derecho as well. And asked for her name. And she said, ebo sheshe. So when Orumila finally reached Olofin's palace, Olofin, seeing Orumila, said he was waiting for him to perform divination. As he had a relative in a room who was pregnant and needed to know what ebo was necessary for a safe delivery. Knowing that it was a trap based on the advice given to him, Orumila responded that there was no Ebo because a, ba a banana tree cannot give birth. Revealing to Olofi that his act was up. So then he informed Olofi that he had to release all the imprisoned Babalaos that he had immediately to save himself. And that he also was planning to marry off his daughter. Confused and realizing the truth, Olofi realized all the Babalaos and he released them all, realizing that they all needed to be freed. As Orumila was leaving, he told Olofi that this happened because of disobedience and failure to feed his own head. Olofi thanked Orumila and said, Modu Pue. But Orumila corrected him, stating that from this day forward, one should say, Iburu, Iboya, Ibucheche.